Hey everyone, welcome back to Blood Cross Today, <laughs> Population 283. Uh something's wrong with me. Uh today we're back playing some more Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Plus. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna be fine. We're gonna go ahead and continue here. And we're gonna be looking for something to do. Let's look at our choices. Let's look at our choices. I hope it's obvious that I'm still feeling a little under the weather. And I apologize if that is is the obnoxious to listen to. Let's go for. We need another void kill. I'm feeling Samson. Let's do it. Was I on normal mode before? No, it's bloody. I don't know why I was on normal mode there. It freaked me out for a second. Starts with child's heart? What? Who else starts with new things? I have no idea. I think I'm going insane. Wait. A pill. Maddie starts with a pill? She could use it. She needs a lot more stuff to make her good. Anyway, I'm just insane. I, I literally just woke up, so... I think the reason I probably sound... Why do I have this space bar item known as the Book of Sin? 3-F-L-L-2-T-H-J. My stuff. Book of Sin. Bloody Lust. And we start with Child's Heart. I already showed you the seed, so what am I doing? Okay. Razor Blade, funny enough, is almost viable... And it might be viable. It's almost viable with um, with Samson because not only does it do a lot of damage to the room that you're currently in, it's gonna do it, it increases your bloody lust damage overall each floor. So that actually, oh well, that's not something you want to do. That actually like could be a potential option for us. Mr. Boom is also a potential option for us. Counterfeit kind of Penny is interesting, but I don't really think I want it. I think I'll just throw it on the tower card here. See if we can like get some good stuff to happen over there. We couldn't quite open up that second bomb, but that's okay. Um, yeah, if I, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm already sick, and then if I sound really bad today, it's just, I literally just woke up. Um, I woke up like this, dying, basically. I don't listen to be honest, so I don't know if that's an accurate reference, but, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. I just took some Dayquil. Hopefully it helps. It's just it's just part of the routine. I think as the run goes on, as I talk more, probably my... Hopefully everything opens up. And that's also why I'm, like, just spouting nonsense. I mean, I spout nonsense on a daily basis. But I would say, so far, I'm even more nonsensical than I typically would be. We'll take the pill. We ain't afraid. It's a power pill. That would have been real nice for this room. Not going to lie. Oh, God. I forgot that the small ones are faster. You know what else would have been really nice for this room? Oh, God. Um, you know what else would be really nice? Oh, no, not. I almost talked like Steve Urkel for a second. That's never good. What else would have been very nice for this room? This room's pretty dastardly. Um, what also would have been very nice for this room is the is the razor blade. Not the razor blade. The uh, the blood rites. Uh, blood rites, like the shaving blade or whatever. It's, I, I, I so rarely pick it up. I honestly don't know what it's called. Now, that's an item. Don't get me wrong. It synergizes very well with Isaac's heart, and so if we happen to find Isaac's heart on this run, we would win the run. Because you can just pop it infinitely, and it scales with your damage, and it's good stuff, basically. Which maybe we want to try. Maybe we say, hey, this is the run where Isaac's heart works. We also need to remember that we need to make it to the Samson fight. And by Samson, I am Samson. We need to make it to the Hush fight. Again. A little nonsensical this morning, my friends, but it'll it'll get better. Let's go ahead and pop this. Paralysis? <gasps> no XL floor, right? No, we have no XL floor. Didn't see any tinted rocks on that room. Good grief. These rooms are not so bueno. If we could cut them out. There you go. Get winded. Get winded, son. Okay. Then we want to take care of as many of these guys on this side of the room as we can. There we go. And then get winded again. And then I can take care of the littler guys. Take care of the little guys. Consider the little guy. Oh, no, 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 guys. You got to gotta cut it out, man. I get really claustrophobic. And the fact that you're all up on me in this manner is very unprofessional. I'm going to have to call. Let's speak with the manager. Okay, now they're getting all desynced, and I don't know why, because they run at the same intervals, and they're the same people, so I don't know why some are getting winded. I mean, it could just be the differing lung capacity of the different individuals. I shouldn't take these. Feels like I'm walking... See, I don't know what this does. Because I still can't shoot. Maybe it's like a unicorn stump effect instead of a unicorn, or... I, I don't know. Who knows? Not the, not the coolest, not the most original, interesting pill I've ever seen. But, um, yeah. My lung capacity is pretty low. I bet I haven't run in such a long time. I bet you if I tried, I would just like kill over and die, perhaps. It's going to be cool now that we have the stat tracker screen on the side, seeing how much of a difference Bloody Lust actually makes. 
Okay, let's do this monstro fight. I see a tinted rock back there. I don't know that we can reach it, though. Almost just got belted, unfortunately, by that monstro shot. But we made it out, so that's a good thing. And yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to make that, which is not good. Maybe Book of Sin will pay out with a bomb. We can get to it, because we'd really like the tinted rock before the next floor. Not only because, like, we want to deal with the devil, but the deal with the devil could lead to great items, and it also, or it could contain small rock. Not, anyway, we... we we stack it up basically we're looking for ways to increase the speed because four minutes on this first floor is pretty slow though i am a slow player please make it it's not going to eight ball could give us like a uh, two of clubs the exact opposite of what i required but there is a battery charge back here on the floor so i think we should at least again i'm just sorry for this um there's moments where i'm talking it just sounds like freaking I swear I'm not doing a Batman impression. Another battery charge. Let's get up. Mm. Was really hoping for a bomb. There's still a bomb in here, but I don't think we can reach it. Like, we have Mr. Boom. I could have picked up the battery charge with Mr. Boom. Mr. Boom. Um, do I take blood rights? I think I'm going to take blood rights. Does it count as red heart damage, though? Because if we don't have a spirit heart protecting it. You know what, it's different, it's new, it's something we don't use that often. Plus we have Trials Heart to replenish, so I want to try it. I like, but I, I, don't get me wrong, I, I could be proven wrong though. This could be something more of ignorance than of actuality. I would love Chaos, do not get me wrong. But there is a 5 cent battery charge in here. <laughs> Excuse me. Again, this is taking forever, so... Oh my gosh, this is gonna take so long. Maybe we'll run with Mr. Boo roll with Mr. Boom after this point just because of the the time required to come back and actually grab everything. Take Mr. Boom. We're gonna buy the battery charge for five cents. Now, the unfortunate side effect of this. Yes, I understand. It does eliminate our chances of making it to boss rush. Um not a boss rush. I mean, it definitely lowers the chance to make it to boss rush because it's taken so long. Uh, it completely eliminates the chance of getting an arcade on the next floor, which means we can't get IV bag. And IV bag is the ideal Samson de damage dealing item. We do get a spirit heart. Um, where I guess we're also going to be able to see on the next floor. You know what? Let's check right now. Let's check right now. I'm going to go on full screen. It's probably going to mess things up for you on your... The way, yeah, it's going like, to look weird for you for a second, but just hold steady. Um, blood rights... It's an item I use so, um, Isaac. It's an item I use so infrequently that I need I need to check it out. Okay. Synergies with bloody loss. The self damage increases the damage boost. Okay. Okay. Isaac takes one full red heart of damage and deals forty damage to all enemies in the room. Question: Does it like? Oh, you can use it without taking damage during the duration of a shield or an invulnerability. Okay, okay. Does it say? I can't see if it says anything. Yeah, I don't see anything about. Uh, I'm wondering if it. What the precedent is. Does it take spirit hearts before it takes red hearts? Because if that's the case, or does it function like the. Um, the IV bag or the, um, the. The razor blade currently does? Does it take red hearts first? Does it count as red heart damage? These are all questions that hopefully in due time we will have answered. But I'm gonna take blood rights anyway. And I think we probably want to keep Child's Heart to, yeah, make sure we have the best chance possible on the next floor of the good not dying from space bar use. So I'll use it in like the first room and we'll see if it takes away my Spirit Heart. Actually, I think I'm going to save it until we find like a second Spirit Heart. I think preserving the first Spirit Heart, our damage is going to go back down this floor, but that's okay. Hopefully, um, hopefully there's not like a school of you guys out there that are like, man, this dude sounds like so much sexier when he's like this what what's what, what is he doing differently how is he speaking differently it's called i'm gonna die it's not sexy if you could see the face you would know i'm gonna start using webcam on my thing you would you would see it you would see the, the oh god the death that has been cast upon me bloody penny is so good with uh with this man right here and if we can now make now i wish i would have saved the five cents there's a bomb. Now, if we can make the IV bag plays work, if we can find an IV bag, oh my gosh, we could pop off so quickly. We could pop off so quickly like a dang balloon with, in a in a nail factory, you know what I'm saying? There's going to be some popping. 
That's the hope, at least. Oh, great. Um, I still want to try our little experiment and see which one Blood Rites takes from first, but again, gotta find that second Tinted Rock with a second Guaranteed Spirit Heart before I feel super comfortable doing so. Maybe we could find our item room soon as well. Secret room here, most likely. It looks like a good candidate, and therefore I will vote for it in the primary and the general. We do get our second Spirit Heart here, so why not... Okay, this isn't a room that's really worth using it on, though. Oh my god, more Spirit Hearts. You should have, and you should continue doing so. Really, a stacky knackle? I'm not going to pay to unlock a stacky knackle. Okay, there's our shop here. So use it to a spade and by shopping me an item room. I mean, I hate it because it's boring as duck for you guys. But also, I think we needed the, like, I needed something to speed it up, guys. I, I said I did that. Okay, it does take from Red Hearts. And it doesn't take away your deal with the Devil Chance. Which is actually pretty good. So each room... Like, the first couple of rooms, we can actually run in and just, like, blast through. Get a damage increase. Okay, this could be a pretty decent synergy. Now, it's not as good as... Uh, again, if we get IV Bag in the future, I will be taking that, because IV Bag plus Bloody Penny... Please stop ringing the phone, I don't know what is happening. IV Bag plus Bloody Penny. Squeezy is fantastic for the Spirit Heart Protection. Thank you, thank you. Come in here, we see a Gimpy, and I will take a Gimpy. Even though you really, like... Ideally, you don't want to give away too many cooks. It also sucks that it takes away a full heart instead of a half heart. Um, I think we just go. Uh, we could go into the, the, the one room now, but we gotta make it to the hush fight, so I think we just gotta cut our losses and move. Now, this isn't as reliable a, a fill-up. Like, IV Bag, you literally drop pennies on the ground, so with the, with the synergy with IV Bag, you're pretty much getting HP back 24-7. Seven days a week, which is part of 24-7, so never mind. Um, with this, you're not finding, like, we're basically at liberty, uh, of what we find on the ground, but, like, it's really good. It's really dang strong. And so, I'm okay with it. That is pretty cool. If we can get a bomb, we can trade it for two bombs. I don't know why I was, like, so enamored by that. That's a pretty, it's nothing that exciting me. Calm down. No need to freaking sploosh over that or anything. To steal a term from Pam from, not the office, but from the other office, which is known as... Archer, there's some pennies for us. Again, any penny we find could be HP, and the more HP we find, the more we can use our lovely little space bar item. <sighs> Gimpy paid out, luckily, so actually, like, it's rare that you find productive damage. That man didn't die from the blood rights. I wonder if it scales with your damage, or, like, I think the I think the wiki that I just read, like, literally four seconds ago, so I should know this, um, said it was just a base four damage. Not four, 40. A base 40 damage to everything in the room. So, we can come in here. We can say Gertie or Dunzo, Funzo. We'll see if we can get another deal with the Devil. What do you got for me? We do get another deal with the Devil. Pageant Boy is good. We're going to get a bunch of... Wow! Maybe the best Pageant Boy play I've ever had. Uh, we will take Sin Robes. Unfortunately, the taking of Sin Robes now makes Blood Rites... Uh, not even figuratively useless, but literally useless. Because we don't have any red hearts to give up anymore. So we'd like to find an HP upgrade. Um, or maybe just another space bar that we can abandon. That we can, like, yeah, we can abandon, uh, um, Piggy Bang I think is fantastic. Every time we get hit, we could get potential red hearts back. So I'll take that. Um, we will probably donate at some point on this run, by the way. Ten minutes, I should leave this floor right now, but I want to find the item room. And I think... After seeing how slow our first two floors went, I hope it's obvious that we're going fast enough now to not really be concerned about it. In here, we get the Peeper's Eye. Again, I should have traded one bombs for two bomb, but kind of on a kind of on a, a little quick streak here. I'll look quickly for Curse Room. If there is a Curse Room, I would like to go in and see what they have for sale. For the sale of my blood, I should say. We'll take this bomb, please. Bomb, please. Uh, you know, you could have invested in my future instead. You basically took a dump on my grave, but... Bomb in here. Nope. We do have a Hagalaz and two of diamonds. Two of diamonds I'll pop now. Hagalaz. I'd like to pop in this room with all the mushrooms and see if magic mushroom exists here. No, but we can now pick up this stuff for free. Use this. Health up is exactly what I'm looking for. I was, I mean, I was, I said it out loud. I was looking for magic mushroom because that would have been a better use. Okay, I shouldn't be exploring. What are we doing? We have 30 minutes. I mean, we're going to make it. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Uh, let's see what's in here. Mm, I enjoy red chests. I do enjoy them. 
I do enjoy the automatic teleportation to the deal with the devil as well. But now, okay, none of that stuff is useless. Master of unlocking, I'm pulling your strings. Master of unlocking, I'm opening your keys. Just kidding, you don't open a key, you open a chest. Um, is definitely tempting, but I still think the IV bag, which we now have a chance to get on the next floor. Oh, I should have picked up some hearts first, you dingus. Ugh, gotta fill that reserve up. Mm, speaking of reserve, banking jokes. Oh, wow, just take some really good damage right there, why don't you? God, yeah, like I said, I hope you guys, like, unless you just want me to, like, I could just go around, like, licking public water fountains or something. If you're really enjoying this voice, if you're like, dang, this dude's starting to get, like, Markiplier. Then, uh, yeah, I could just, like, start licking. Please, though, almost, almost didn't make it. Um, Awas, we'll carry it with us. It could be a free teleportation and a boss rush, so we should consider that. And by teleportation, I just mean like a quick little run down to the next floor. Okay, we got a big room here, so I think it's about time to go and pop on this bad boy. Yeah, it's not quite as strong as maybe I would have wanted, but um, it's 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 good enough nonetheless, and it gives us the damage upgrade that we still want. And now with piggy bank, every time we take damage, we're getting more HP back. Donation machine, I mean, we may as well donate. I think this is going to increase our angel chance, but I think also since we've already... Oh my gosh. I think since we've already taken a deal with the devil chance, it's literally impossible. Might as well crack on this a couple times because we're just going to have so much money in here that, like, why would we not go to the... Okay, we're at the max now, which is fine. And it... Oh! This actually basically does work just like... Because we hurt ourselves and then piggy bank explodes. It's not a 100% chance, but I think it's like a it's like a decent chance. And Gippy's going to pay out sometimes. Oh my gosh. Blood rights. You're too good to me. So much money. Yeah, this is actually, I did not foresee it initially. This is actually a fantastic synergy. Uh, unfortunately, when it only pays out with one penny and then we can only get half a heart, it's not as good then. Okay, now I'm just taking like stupid damage, so let's cut that out. Didn't know you could spawn those. Oh, please. Um, but we can still make it work nonetheless. What do we got? Ah, I'm dumb. Cannot, can no longer enter there. Got a ton of money, so probably want to check out the shop. Treasure map, I think, is good for speeding up things. Pick this up. Ace of Clubs. Yeah, let's just pop the AWAS rune here. Look for that crawl space. Not happening. 14 minutes. Place some infinite bombs down here because we could get... Could get some good stuff. I'm walking on sunshine. Luck up. Another I'm walking on sunshine. Let's just turn both those into bombs. Not a great use. Like, honestly... Probably the worst use ever, but it's okay. Let's check what's going on here. I don't think so. I think our time is more valuable. Um, time is a valuable thing, you know. Watch it by watch it by fly. Watch it fly by as the pendulum swing. Watch it count down till the end of the day. The clock takes life away. It's so unreal. Can you imagine like a Lincoln Park where they just like are very monotone? You know what we'd call it? Uh, thinking Park. I can't do it. I'll pick it up. D Infinity. It's a random D item every two rooms. And don't get me wrong, on any other circumstance, hey, I re-rolled my run with Missing No a couple runs ago. That's pretty freaking wacky. And I, I definitely try to 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 do more daring and risky. I've never seen this before, but I'm okay with it. Ow, I'm not okay with that. I'll take Dice Shard. I try to do things that are a little bit more daring and exciting and stuff like that than, than maybe I should. <coughs> For... <laughs> God, help me, please. For the entertainment value. But, um, in this case, when we're trying to get these void victories, these hush kills, whatever you want to call them, I think it's more valuable to just cut your losses and, hey, you want to come at me, boy? Uh, it's not quite as far as I wanted you to go, but you got it done. Ten cents? Don't need to go down here. We know that we have the treasure map, so we can now see the outlets of our rooms much quicker. And we can see whether it's a special room or not. And I'm not even going to do that one because we don't have that much time to make up. Like, I, I, I got more of the boss rush timer on my mind. And we're already powerful enough that I don't think, like, it's not going to take us five minutes, especially with treasure map to do. And we're not looking for item rooms to do each of the wombs. So I think we're going to make it no problem. But I still, you know, don't want to get too, too testy. Look at, look at it. Look at it. Too testy. Also, the same number as the... Genitalia on what? What are we talking about? I forgot. Yeah, don't listen to me. Oh my god. Alright, pick this up, pick this up. Gimpy is also, we have such a good synergy here. Because Gimpy is continually 
making the enemies that we kill pay out with red hearts themselves. Oh my gosh, and then we can pick this up, and then we get a damage upgrade. It's a good little synergy. What a good little synergy you are. What a good joy as you are. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm, I'm wild this morning. I feel like my voice is getting better, though. Is it opening up a little bit? Okay. Marked Mom's Knife. Let's try it. I think it does nothing. Yeah, it does nothing. G increased our range and decreased our tier stat, at the very least. So you know what? I think that could still be considered a good thing. Does Marked Brimstone do anything? I don't think so. So we, you just get a faster charge time. <gasps> the one case where Marked Brim... Like, where Marked is actually probably an objectively good pickup. What is this? I think that's one only... Yeah. Oh gosh, now the hiccups are starting. If my bodily functions could take a break for a day, I'd be pretty appreciative. And of course, on the run where we have 90 gajillion cents, you you read that second number wrong. You thought it was 99. It's 90, and then the second number is a gajillion. So, just like, go back to school, basically. Um, I don't know if I placed that in the right spot. It still worked. In here, we get this room. Let's see what kind of stuff they got for us. I know I'm going to get hit. Okay, that guy's just taking a detour over there. Degas will pop. No more curse for us. No more curse. Ansu's pop it. Ansu's good to know. Algiz. Uh, take the per throw into the deal with the devil. And uh, then we still have the dice shard, of course, that we can use. Maybe should have just like used our dice shard on mom's uh, unmarked. I think this is a good item. I like the speed. And then in here, Thame, I don't really value. Reroll it, really don't value Necronomicon. It didn't stay open for us, which is unfortunate because now I'm just going to take my, my dice shard and go on with my date. Maybe you should take Algus. Could make the next floor even quicker. Um, if we can find a teleportation card on the next floor, I'd like to snatch an item from Boss Rush, but barring, like, assume that that's just... Oh, ay, 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 ay. Assuming that that is just not possible, I will be fine with that in, in addition. Let's check over here. Which way do we think are probably the other way for the boss fight would be my guess. So we just want to make this way go as quickly as possible. We didn't get any you jerks. You jerks. You didn't give me any HP. Okay, I got a little bit of HP back. So I cannot complain. I'm guessing item room and shop and all. The whole shebang pretty much is going to be over here. There is item room. I'm guessing shop's going to be a little bit higher. And we could... Ooh, the mind is fantastic. As far as like speeding things up goes. The mind now eliminates any need to, to really rush. We're definitely going to make it. Please stand back. Um, we can check all our secret rooms. We can check secret rooms for the rest of the game. We'll know the quickest way to pretty much everywhere. Might as well take this. Could be Joker. Two of hearts. Pop it. Let's see, it's at least a use. We'll take the half spirit heart. We'll check out our secret room, which I just walked past. So now we'll check out our secret room. Just some money. Again, not really that valuable at this point. But uh, we are going to get to buy stuff on the hush fight. So guess I'm just going to bypass that room. So see you later, suckers. We will pop this on this room. Going to get hurt a little bit in the process, but pick up pretty much you pretty pretty much like break even every time you do it you just pick the hp you just lost right back up i don't really feel like that's a good trade damaging ourselves three times for i don't even know what those chests could contain because i'm too scared if they could contain items i could actually see it being worth it and depending on what items can be contained within you know what i'm saying but uh if they're literally just a gray chest oh i will hurt myself for infamy it's probably not the smartest play but you know what I, I value it quite a bit. I value it for me a lot. It blocks shots. And he keeps on forgetting, but he wrote down. The whole crowd blocks my shots. They block my shots. They block my shots. Mom Spaghetti. Uh, if you have not heard the uh, Mom Spaghetti version of that song, I would like highly recommend it. I think you're missing out on a large aspect of what makes my life so enjoyable on a day-to-day -day basis, as well as probably, like, I would have to guess millions of Americans daily. Okay, let's get this done. Oh, God! I'm going to use it again, even though it's going to hurt our spirit heart, just because... I did not want to deal with that room and what I had unleashed upon the world. Come in here, use this. Too strong for me. Take this in here. Let's get it. We got some time. Oh, we got plenty of time. Plenty of time. I ran into him like a ding. Okay. Kind of hemorrhaging through HP a little bit more quickly than I would like to. So we should probably, like, cut that the heck out. And nothing really worthwhile in here. Let's use the dice shard. And still, oh, Cricket Sat is so good, but I think we're doing enough damage, honestly, right now. Charm of the Vampire could also be good. It's another way to increase our our HP, but I think we're fine. And every time now that we use... Oh my gosh, I think I just found the greatest synergy of all time. So we can now see where we're going to go. We can walk into a room, use it once, and you can use it while you're invincible. 
So we can just like so we basically just have to make sure that we're at one and a half hearts. Then we can use it. And then we can use it infinitely in a boss fight. And then we just win the boss fight. We could probably use that in the hush fight as well. And then every time we use it in the hush fight, we could use it that many times as well, as long as we don't pick up a red heart. Oh my gosh, we may have found the greatest ay ay ay. We may have found the greatest of all time. If we can just find like a penny or a couple pennies, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Pick up a couple pennies, get back to that one and a half mark that is now magical for us. Skip the big room because I don't want to. And do the small room instead. Do these guys. These guys are easy. See, like, this is what I said. Now that we have the mind, we pretty much have no risk of not making it to the hush fight. So we are going to make it. The question is, can we stack up enough HP in the meantime? Can we stack up enough HP in the meantime to not feel scared a little at all because honestly right now i'm just a slightly bit frightened but you know what a lot of things frighten me so it's nothing new it's nothing new it's a daily occurrence for me die check if we can get uh, black hearts in here no we get the walnut which if you take enough hits drops some consumables or something i still like our bloody penny stuff we're doing right here this is a new what do you know you take blood rights you experiment a little bit and then you do this look at it it's delicious and then you take up this heart and you go down to the next floor with the exact same thing. We got no deal with the devil, unfortunately, for two floors in a row. But that means it should be guaranteed on this floor. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Oh, Curse of the Lost. You're going to make me fight for it, aren't you? And we should also be, like, hurting ourselves more often just because of the gimpy possibilities. Like, yeah. Oh, ho, ho. I don't know why it sounded like I was about to sing the... Bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. I got Star Wars on the brain, but I was actually like, that's just how my laugh sounded for a second, and I'm, now I'm pretty self-conscious about it. Do you ever have like one of those laughs? <laughs> maybe this is just me, and maybe now I'm the world's greatest weirdo, where like, for whatever reason, it just comes out weird. Like, you you know what your normal laugh sounds like. I don't really have much of a, much of a laugh as it is. Like, mine's not a very, like, severe, like, it's not a very deep chuckle. Like, if I'm actually, like, gentleman, it's probably just like, <laughs> or, like, I got, like, uh, some, ow, that, those things whip you? No, you could nay nay. Um, strength card. Yeah, why not? Come in here, pop this a million times. Pop this a million times. And the fights, it's so good. Come in here, see if we want to trade away our HP. I guess we don't have the opportunity. Um, actually, my, like, if I'm, like, being genuine, if my, like, my actual laugh where I'm, like, really, really freaking laughing about something is, like, very, like, wheezy. Like, <laughs> I don't know why. That's just how everybody in my family laughs, and so I just, it may be genetic. But have you ever had one of those laughs where it's, like, it's almost like you assault the person, if that makes sense? Like... Uh, like, they'll say something, and you, like, maybe you, like, either you genuinely think it's funny, what's with the spear hearts, by the way? I mean, I pr appreciate it, but, either you, like, genuinely think the thing that they said is that funny, well, go for spun, we're not, actually, we are gonna get spun, I need you to move out of the way, so I'm gonna move this heart, um, or, like, you just don't want them to, I don't know if the Nine Inch Nails does anything, but we can see the stats associated, it's a plus damage upgrade, so, or maybe, like, you feel bad for... Tear Detonator does nothing with knife, correct? I don't think so. Let's go in here and get this fight going. I think we're going to have a pretty good time of things. Um, yeah, or like you... Um, okay, let's... We want a lot of enemies to be on the screen when we use... Infamy saved me there. Um, yeah, like... Uh, let me get the fudge and sentence out. Let's do this. You either genuinely think the thing that they said is that funny... Or you're just, like, being nice to them and you want to just, like, laugh anyway. There's a spirit heart on the ground, so we should at least do this. And then we should, like, run into him with our knife. Okay. It's gonna be, like, tough. Because when we're clicking it, it's kind of hard to see where the, um... Where the invincibility is leaving. But, yeah. So, they say something funny. Maybe semi-funny. You want to make them feel good. And so, you try to laugh. And for whatever reason, like, your laugh just comes out very aggressive. It's like... <laughs> and you're just like... What just came out of my mouth? And then not only that, like literally, okay, let's do it in this room because we can get a lot of red hearts back from these guys. Yes, like like this. And then we're at the perfect interval again. And then we do it again. And then we do it again. Then we pick up the same thing that we needed. And then we wait for it to come back. And then we do it again. And we're at invincibility. And then we're at this. Oh my gosh, it's too good. Keep spawning more enemies, hush. More flies, please. 
More flies, please. That's exactly what I'm looking for. And then I can run into you. Pick up the two red hearts. Pick up the two red hearts. Oh my god, it's so good. It's such a good little synergy. It's like a lot to me mental mentally. It's a lot, of, a lot to mentally manage with my brain at the same time. Yo, if you could like also get off these red hearts, I need them. I need a, I need a red heart. You don't understand. I need a half heart. I need the 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 half heart. Thank you. We might as well use it here. Get to the one and a half. Get to the one and a half. Get to the one and a half. And then as soon as he's done, like, just pop it again. There we go. There's the damage. And then just do this and step into him. And then do this. Ah, oh, I went to a full heart like a dinghy. And then you get the invincibility. And you step in him again. And you just keep going. And then he's just cut up. That is such a good synergy. This is phenomenal. I would have never anticipated this to be worth... I... I would have never anticipated this to be worth half a crap, but I'll tell you what, it's turned into something awesome. I don't even know. Now I gotta start the episode's almost done, I gotta render it. Okay, let's go for let's go for the isolated one first. Excuse me? Oh, okay, now we're at the one and a half. I can't see my HP, which is gonna make it a little bit harder to manage this whole one and a half thing. But if I'm just smart about it. If I'm just smart about it and I use my pea-sized Bren, then I should be at one and a half right now. There we go, there's the invincibility, and then you pick up this, and you pick up this, and then we're at one and a half again. And I do it here, and you get invincibility, and you didn't get any HP back, but you got this, and then you can pick up this one as well, and I'm at one and a half again. Save it for the boss fight now. Also saved by the bell, especially when the room is this easy. Um, but yeah, what the heck are we going to call this synergy? We need to come up with a sweet name for it. Let's call it... Let's call it... Uh... Fargly Goog? Yeah, that sounds pretty cool, I think. Delirium first boss fight, which means we're in this. we in this, and we cutting you up. Okay, two. Yes, which means I can use it again. Where'd you go? No, I need you to come, I need you to come back. I need to keep using the synergy. You don't understand. I have a cool synergy, and I want to keep using it against you. What a lucky, isolated little... Okay, don't, don't do it here. Oh, he turned into two. Okay, but... Oh, we couldn't quite make it happen. Oh, I forgot. Anytime we get hit, we have invincibility, so we just, just crank on it and run into him. Okay. We're fine. Fine. The, the the teleporting could, like, could cut it out, I think, personally. Oh, gonna take a hit. Nope. Turn to Gertie, which is very thankful. I'm very thankful of that fact, because I was able to get out of the way. Oh my gosh, you're turning into too many things here. You're turning into much too many. Much too much! Run into him. Run into him. Pick this up. Ah, oh, we still didn't get our half heart that we needed. I'm scared that I can't see my HP. Oh god, it freaking me out, man. I'm having a cow, man. Come on, there we go. There's a half heart. And there's a half heart. So now when we use where are you? When we use this, yes, we should get the invincibility. He's just teleporting too much. I picked up one, I need another half heart. I need another half heart. Oh, the foot needs to cut it the heck out. You're getting a little speedy on me, my friends. Oh my gosh, the teleporting is bullcrap. I'm not at uh, I'm not at half heart anymore. Now I am, I think. So I can use this. Yes. Come back. Come back. Crank it. Crank it like a chainsaw. Okay, not quite there. Not quite there. Sister's Vis. Sister's Vis is no biggie. Oh, we've done it. I don't even know how much HP we had. Should have popped strength card when I got scared. I think we probably still had a decent amount of HP, but I definitely used more there than I was comfortable with. I'd like to see, but we're not gonna see. Same ending as always, of course. Bloody Crown has appeared in the basement. Bloody Crown! It's a good bloody. Um, and that is Samson done. That's a cool new synergy that we found that I've now called Flark and Dougal, I think. It's kind of hard to remember, so maybe I'll think of something better later. But um, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. we got some more characters, obviously, to do Void stuff with. But if you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe to become a citizen of Playcrastination today. And if you know anybody that you think would be a great Playcrastinator, go ahead and send them on by because we'd love to have them. But with that, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time for some more of The Binding of Isaac.